This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. All right, my fabulous diamond cubs, we are getting right into the application. I'm using my Fizanist, I think that's how you say it, my uh, clear rubber base coat. I've already applied my long coffin tips. I'm going to apply this as a base coat across my natural nail and across the tip because we are doing some gel color honey. All right, so they are cured. I cured for 60 seconds. So as you can see, I got this new uh, monomer off Amazon. It's called Parvati. And it is a MMA free, HEMA free, nine chemical free monomer. The odor is actually not bad at all, honey. It is a, a I would equivalent, I would equate it to something like a not polished monomer um it is not as strong as young nails or mia secret so that's cool and i'm using my kiara sky my uh this one i think is a size 16. i'm using uh born pretty and this uh was it matucci matusi something from i got this off i don't know, I think i got it off timu or something but i'm using my fabulous born pretty from the coral iced jelly collection we're putting some of that lighter blue towards the tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all the fingers. We're gonna cure. And I'll let y'all keep watching. Now we're taking some of that Born Pretty Beautiful Deeper Blue and we are going to put that on the pretty much almost entire nail a little bit higher than where the tip was applied to the nail and just put that all the way down and kind of blend it on the little ombre into the lighter blue. By the way, while this is happening, I hope you are all doing fabulous, my lovely Diamond Cubs. I pray that you are all doing fantastic, that life is being amazing to you. I appreciate y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming across my channel, I really appreciate it. And if you do like it, I really hope you consider subscribing and being a part of our little family. I try to upload videos once a week. Um, I'm not a pro, um, you know, I got a full-time job on the side of this, so, you know, I try to just upload and do my nails when I can, but, um, you know, I'm a beginner, I'm just learning and trying to share my experience with y'all, so definitely subscribe if you want to be along for the ride.
right, so after curing, I did already go ahead and lay out some charms that I feel are ocean related. So I have some stars, some of these little dot thingies that I think are supposed to represent bubbles. I don't know. Bubbles, darling. Bubbles. Um, I'm not sure if any of y'all watch Little Britain, but that's a character. Bubbles! Um, and seashells. And I'm just putting those along the nail and, you know, doing what it do trying to do some decoration also let me know what y'all think of this angle so i got this apparati <laughs> this apparatus that hangs around my neck and uh gives like a pov view so i know that obviously i need to work on the um you know keeping my hand in frame and everything which is still a struggle before but uh let me know if y'all like this view over the overhead view I will be switching to the overhead view because I was getting kind of annoyed a little bit but let me know what y'all think My bad, I did not include the part where I took some foil with a little um, pair of tweezers and I just scattered them around the nail, kind of to um, resemble a little bit of like, you know, waves crashing, you know, you get that like white silvery kind of look on the ocean. So yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. <laughs> So after curing, I did, um, I am going to clear cap. So I am taking my Forever Beauty, uh, extremely clear with this monomer with my Kiara Sky brush. And I'm going to go ahead and clear cap the areas that I just did the gel and all that stuff on. saw that little finger went up I was like uh, -uh hold on so I switched it back up to now the overhead view so this versus the other one let me know what y'all prefer um I can always do a combination kiss kiss of both or one of the other um I can definitely get used to wearing the 
you know the POV camera when I'm putting on when I'm doing the nails it just will take some practice um, but yeah let me know what y'all think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to Barry Q Nails also just FYI um, don't forget to check out your creators community tab on their YouTube page we like to share other creators we like to share um, uh, special posts or notifications we want to share out to subscribers definitely always check out that community tab for anything going on that your favorite creators might want to share with you and may not just want to make a video about but might just want to make a post so definitely go ahead and check those out VIP very important posts
So pretty much done taking this ombre nude from Forever Beauty and I'm gonna use this for my cuticle area to resemble like sort of like a sandy moment. So I'm trying to make my hand look like, you know, a shore of crashing waves and beautiful underwater life. <laughs> So now I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm switching to, uh, I forgot about that. I switched to the number 12 from Young Nails, Greg's favorite brush. I switched to this one just because it's a little smaller and allows me to work in the cuticle area and get really tight in there. The other brush from the Kiara Sky, the size 16, is great for, I feel, the actual extension part. But when you get to the cuticle area, I'm sure you can do it. But I feel it's such a large brush that, you know, you might as well just use a smaller brush for that area. So I'm just going to try and create a little thing here and trying to keep my shaping, you know, right while I apply. Because y'all know I'm trying to work on my application. So uh, my filing doesn't have to be so rigorous <laughs> and such a chore, you know. So I hope you're enjoying watching. Um... Yeah, under the sea.
so I already went ahead and filed with my 6060 nail file along the sides and along the bottom edge of the extensions. Now I'm going in with my 5-in-1 drill bit. I'm sorry, I already did that for the cuticles to seal it in. I'm going with my little cuticle bit just to clean up the little sides and make sure that you know there's nothing caught inside the nail folds that they're you know they're easy to open there's nothing caught in there and just clean up that area and now we're just gonna go ahead and buff 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 Now we done, we go wash hands. I decided to add some stickers. Some of these little clear, flowery, summery stickers. <laughs> so I'm putting that on all of the fingers on that sandy area. I should have, I could have just put like some other things that you would probably find on the beach. But I don't know, I just like this little flowery look. Alright, now that we're done with that, I'm taking my Forever Beauty base coat and we are going to go over all of these lovely nails and we're going to reveal some of this gorgeousness that we've been working on. Ooh, baby. Look at that blue. So I'm not sure if y'all can tell, I actually went, um, I think I did it off camera, I went back and I took the lighter blue and I kind of like speckled it sort of to give a you know how water has that different color blue sometimes when the sun is hitting it so I did kind of that so it can have sort of a little color effect whenever you are looking up through the nails at light so you get a little see-through moment I love see-through nails I don't know why they look so cool so yeah We have finished curing for 60 seconds and now I'm taking my Forever Beauty top coat and we are going to seal in all this fabulousness that we just worked so hard on. Oh, hello Penny, y'all know that sound. That's the sound of one of my babies coming in to check on what I'm doing. Oh.
look at that. I think they came out pretty cute. Oh, what y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, sorry, so um, I'm gonna let them cool off for two minutes because as if y'all have seen my previous videos, letting them cool off for two minutes enables the top coat to really cool off and fully cure. So if you get any scratches or anything, it will not really affect that much. So I'm adding this beautiful cuticle oil, which makes your hands feel so luscious and luxurious and adds that final ooh la la to your manicure. Look at that, beautiful. I love all of y'all so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Love to all of you. Pushing out love and light to all of you as always. See you next time. Peace.